This has been an extraordinary month in presidential politics without precedent in modern history. On June 27th, a seemingly stable race was focused in Atlanta, where President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump were meeting for their first of two scheduled debates. But what we saw on that stage completely rocked the election. President Biden's performance was so poor that from within his own party, pressure began to build to, for him to abandon his reelection effort. On July 13th, there was an assassination attempt on live television on Donald Trump's life. The former president of the United States, potential future president, came within centimeters of being shot and killed on national television. And two days later, we see him triumphantly preside over his own Republican convention. He's riding high, uh, appoints uh, J.D. Vance as his running mate, accepts uh, his party's nomination coming out of Milwaukee, looking like almost a certain winner in November. And then just days later, after resisting pressure and digging in, after Joe Biden said, I'm not going anywhere, I am going to run again, I am going to win, he shocks the nation and steps aside by abandoning his campaign and yielding to Vice President Kamala Harris, who within days raises $100 million plus and secures the delegates necessary uh, to become the Democratic nominee. And it completely resets the race. I think it would be irresponsible for anyone to think that it makes Harris a favorite or you know calls it even. I, I think the takeaway uh, heading into kind of the, the final three month stretch is simply that the race is reset and it's back to this baseline that we saw in 2016 and 2020, which uh, which ultimately was a very tight race in the handful of battleground states that decide the Electoral College. Both Vice President Harris and President Trump already since this reset have been out for rallies and events that will continue. Vice President Harris is building up to the Democratic Convention. So there's there's big opportunity and risk there on both sides. And these coming weeks uh, are very much about that race to define Kamala Harris, because Donald Trump is already very defined.